But we're going to talk about R454B, which has become sort of a problem here. And um, I was trying to look a little bit more about the shortage of it. And it's sort of, you know, ambiguous what the true reason for the shortage is. Now, I had this thing that I'll read to you. Uh, here, here's what the AI told me on Google whenever I looked it up. It said a nationwide shortage of R454B refrigerant, a key environmentally friendly alternative to older refrigerants is impacting HVAC contractors, leading to delays in installations, blah, blah, blah. The shortage is primarily due to cylinder shortages and supply chain issues, which is a little vague. So cylinder shortage, it makes, okay, that, that's that's it. But supply chain issues, you never know what that actually means. As the HVAC industry transitions to R454B as part of a broader effort to reduce climate change. So this is climate change's fault again. Thanks for climate change. Uh, those cows farting on the plains, I guess. That's the climate change. And uh, here's one more thing I'm going to read out real quick. Here's the other reasons for the shortage. As R14A is phased out, and this is what the computer told me. This is not necessarily the actual reason. Demand for R454B has surged, outpacing supply. Cylinder shortage is the second one. Supplier strain, which is Honeywell. Uh, it's having major difficulty meeting demand and tariffs, which is a new thing you can blame. Uh, yeah. But here, here's what I'm kind of wondering here, just as just this common sense person. Uh, Honeywell has known about this for a long time, that this was coming. I cannot believe that it's just they can't keep up with something that they knew was coming. So, I mean, what's your take on this stuff, Chuck? Well, I, the guy that I get, the, the distributor I get my comfort maker from, he told me that they told him that the menu, the Honeywell or the refrigerant manufacturers went to all the equipment manufacturers that was going to be using 454B and said, how much are you going to need? And they said, I'm going to need X million pounds. And the other one said, I'm going to need XX million pounds. They added all that up. And so they made that much. And so then they made a little more to sell, you know, retail out the, out the front door of the supply house. And they said, then the manufacturers all doubled what they wanted. Oh, now I'm, I, that's what he said early on. This was when it was still, you know, four hundred dollars a jug, and they were complaining about that. And he, I, I was over there uh, this past week, and I said, "How much is four fifty four B?" And he said, "We had, we don't have any. We can't get any." So, said so we were looking on the internet, and we saw it for four thousand dollars one place. Oh man! Oh gosh! <laughs> did, did you still get the Jackson Systems email stuff? I'm sure that I do. I, I haven't looked at it in a while. Yeah. And I saw someone else had it on one of the Facebook groups, and it said if you buy any pallet of refrigerant, you can buy up to two jugs of 454B for only $1,350 a piece. Only? Oh, <laughs> wow. Okay. <laughs> so Gee. I'm like, wow. But I mean, <laughs> oh, I don't man. know. I, I, you know, if it's a jug problem, why is there 32 available? Because there's that, I was wondering that. Uh, That's what I was know. curious about. It's the same jug, isn't it? You would think. I mean, the, the pressures are the same. The flammability is probably the same. The only difference is they put that new car refrigerant in it and made it a little more environmentally friendly. Yeah, that's what I, that's what I saw. I, the YF, uh, I think, is it YF one two three four? Yeah, YF, like that? one two three four YF. Yeah, and that's what's crazy about the whole thing. You know, we were talking earlier. You look at four ten A, it's mostly R thirty two, but mm -hmm. they put the R one twenty five in it. It's like, what's one twenty five? Oh, that's what you put in fire extinguishers. So they basically was making a refrigerant that could put itself out if it caught fire. And it also made it have a high global warming potential, which you never heard of in the uh, 90s when they was talking about phasing it out because of the ozone and the chlorine. Right. Yeah, that's so right. So they didn't care. They just threw whatever in there, you know. That's <laughs> and exactly so now right. we're saying, okay, let's take that out and call it R32. Or he's using a better idea, you know. We got a patent on this thing over here. Let's stick it in a jug with it. And we'll call it something new. And we'll be the only ones that can make it. <laughs> and we'll convince most people to use it. Yeah, so they did. Man. They did a good job, apparently. Yeah. Everybody but those R32, like just a few people, right? The Goodman and uh, Mitsubishi use R32, I think. I don't know if Miss, I thought Mitsubishi was going with the 454 because they kind of got a partnership with Train. Maybe they did, actually. Maybe they did. I know it's but, just, I know Goodman for sure. And that group of Dyke and them because R32 yeah. is their thing. Well, and of uh, course, the theory is 
they're going to make them get lower global warming potential numbers sooner rather than later. And, you know, R32 may have to be switched out. And what's it going to go to? Well, it'll go to 454 is what everybody's saying. That's incredible. You know, thinking about it, and I'm going off memory here. We could look it up or something. But R22, as far as global warming potential, was actually better than 410A. It just had chlorine lower. in it. Had to chlorine Move the oil it. around. <laughs> had, had, had to get rid of that. Couldn't have that. So we have a higher global warming potential with 410A until R32 comes along. And it's something like 750, I think, if I recall correctly. And then 454B is somewhere like 450, 500, somewhere in there. So it's not dramatically different because there's a lot of 32 and 454B. Right. right? I mean, along with other refrigerant. Cutting it back a little bit. but Right. I, I don't know what the answer is. I mean, it, it seems like we're getting ripped off. Uh, you know, I saw on... Uh, Facebook, somebody had shared an email that train was going to start putting more refrigerant in their split systems because the 15 foot line set wasn't enough for most installations. And since nobody could get a jug of refrigerant at the wire, you know, at the supply house, they needed to buy the unit with more in it. So what they were going to do was give you an extra 10 foot, which if my memory serves right, what is that? Six ounces in most cases for three eighths line. It's yeah, it's it, they said it we always did 0.6 per foot, yeah. So, but they were doing like foot, slightly less, ounces. yeah. They're doing slightly less for theirs, so, slightly and it's slightly less, not more, slightly less. Crazy. But if you had six ounces of refrigerant, the, the kicker was it's going to be on serial number. Units made after May 7th are going to have that extra six ounces or five ounces or whatever in it, mm -hmm. and we're only going to charge you an extra $50 for doing that. Add them numbers up, fellas. How much is uh six ounces uh, <laughs> into was a like, twenty pound jug times fifty dollars? You're talking twenty six hundred dollars for a jug of refrigerant. Twenty six hundred bucks <laughs> over over a hundred dollars for one pound. So it's yeah. like one hundred thirteen hundred and twenty dollars a pound just for that. Now, th does that make your skin crawl? I mean, you think there's a better like there's a reason why it has to be that much for them, or you think that they're just padding? I have no idea why. I mean, what, what what's going to change for them other than the cost of the refrigerant? You know, it's it's they set those things up. How much refrigerant you're going to put in this thing? They ain't leaving it up to Bob down there to figure out when to turn the <laughs> valve off. You know, he just pushes right. the button. Right. So I don't know. Leave it in there for another. The, the button runs. The machine runs for about two extra seconds yeah. or something. I, I I really don't know. I can't see why it would cost that much. But I don't know. Maybe they realize that they're losing out in some areas. They got to make it up. And I mean, you're the bank, you know, everybody's been talking about R22 all these, you know, don't put R22 in something. It costs too much. You know, mm -hmm. this this stuff we've been using for the last two months, now the refrigerator is going to be the same price as R22. That's about where it is right now. And that's crazy. And that's crazy right there. And why did it have to go to 20 pound jugs? Because it's flammable. I mean, I, I the know. 410A went to 25 because it was a higher pressure. You can't, you know, is 410A, it's not higher pressure necessarily than these other two. They they're they're like about the same. Close. They're pretty close. Yeah, because the same ingredient in all of them. You know, you I think, think R32. Would be high right? enough that it has to be five pounds less in a jug. Sounds like yeah. somebody just wanted to. Uh, Make it sound like it jug. costs the same. Trinket. That's what I think it is. I think, <laughs> you know, it's like when you go to the store and instead of a 20 ounce drink costing, now let's $2, that they have a 16 ounce drink that costs $2. And mm -hmm. the price stays the same, but the drink gets smaller and smaller and smaller. I think that's what's going on. When's the last uh, time you seen a gallon of bleach in the store? <laughs> I don't know. I couldn't tell you the answer to that. I'm surprised they hadn't done it to milk yet, you know? <laughs> 128 <laughs> ounces. That, that's exactly right. They'll, they'll have some kind of reclassification of how much you get. And yeah. you'd be like, okay, well, the price is staying the same. Well, no, it's not. But it's, you know, it's easy to kind of, I don't know, rationalize that it's the same or just feel like it's the same or, I don't know. They get away with whatever they want to get away with. So we couldn't do nothing about it if we knew for sure. We ain't got it. I mean, I've seen people on Facebook and some of them groups begging for it. Does anybody have a jug of this I can buy? You know, we got we need it. And some people are actually buying units to recover the refrigerant out in order to finish their installs. Wow. That they're doing, you know, every day so that they can, you know, fix that 50 foot line set and put enough in it. That's incredible. Uh, it's crazy. I mean, well, when, it's crazy that they have to go with that. I mean, I'm not saying they're yeah. crazy for doing it. That's actually smart. I mean, if you've got, oh, yeah. you've got a crew sitting there waiting to go to work and you can't do it, you got to do something. Now, we've been through versions of this. I'm sure you have, too, where they didn't have a part. So you'd have to rob an air handler 
like a train. They didn't have like whatever it is. Cause for a long time they had parts delays on stuff. Uh, and like you needed a coil and you couldn't get the coil. They, did, they didn't know when you had to go to either buy an air handler or they'd have to, you know, rip one out and then replace it, which I know they can't do actually. So something would have to happen. You'd have to kind of salvage one out of another one. Uh, it's just kind of high stakes now with that, doing that sort of thing. Cause that's costly. Well, you've seen so when we've tried to go buy a replacement coil and the air handler was cheaper than the coil, you know, because oh, the new air handler. Yeah, train so, for sure. I mean, I guess yeah. we're getting to the point now that you can probably buy a heat pump just to get the refrigerator out of it and make money <laughs> if it's going to be, you know, $100, $120 a pound. <laughs> yeah, from that's train. exactly right. You really could. I mean, if I think back on some of them, like the most good, I'm familiar with Goodman because of my life, but there's those old Goodman 13 seer and 12 seer units that were like double row coils and they'd come with like 12, 13, yeah, 12 pounds 15 of pounds. Yeah. yeah, they have all the refrigerant you need, uh, depending on the cost of it. I mean, that's kind of a gold mine for R4B, <laughs> I guess. <laughs> 